I just fed these guys with um, pellets, a mixture of cichlid gold and this uh, algae wafer and then floating. So this is what they've been eating. These guys are pigs. They eat, and then I had some flakes in there too. I was feeding, feeding them flakes too. They they actually like the flakes as well. Um, so these guys are four months old. I think they're um, outgrowing this 55 gallon that I have. I need to thin some of these guys out. I want to get them to where they're super big and have their trailers streamers running and all that so I want to I've been doing water changes whenever I can sometimes uh, daily sometimes uh, three days sometimes four days but uh, I've been cleaning the filter every week so I, I never do both I never clean the filter and also change do water change you never know if you get you run the risk of um, killing the good bacteria and if you clean your filter and do 90% water changes you never know that you might be you might shock your um, environment or your parameters so I never do both I do one or the other so uh, if the waters are really good to today and then crystal clear tomorrow and clean I might wash the um, filter and I always wash my filter with my water I never used uh, tap water I, I learned that mistake years ago uh, the chlorine basically just kills um, all your bacteria even though your uh, filter is cleaner you're basically killed all your bacteria in the filter it's fortunate if you have uh, good culture bacteria in your aquarium the water if you didn't change any of that but if you did do 90% water change and you stir up the gravel you basically depleted 90% of your uh, good bacteria uh, in some cases many cases you'll uh, the fishes will survive but sometimes you will shock your water and you know it's a delay it's a latent um, kind of an effect the fishes may look fine today, tomorrow, a couple of days later, but it, the effects don't show a, a week or two later and you know they'll just start dying and you, you're gonna stumble on, you're gonna try to figure out what happened and stuff. But long story short, um, the water is a little murky, but I just did a 90 water, uh, 90 percent water change today. I did it yesterday as well, but I didn't touch my uh, filter. I have a really good decent filter running it's a um, FX5 um, and I also have other filters around but I, it's too noisy when I run it so I don't run both filters but ultimately my setup tanks my 300 my 240s my 180s will have both it'll run I will have a FX5 or a FX6 plus a, a sump, a sump of uh, anywhere from 40, 55 to 120 gallon depending on the tank, also the stock. On my Ray tanks, I will have a 120 sump and maybe two canisters to uh, run. So, but with that said, this is getting actually under filter it's not I mean this FX5 it's rated up to anywhere from 100 to 300 gallons but you know it you can't put a FX5 and on a 300 gallon and stock tons of fish in there they're just gonna die in the long run they'll die in the short time you know they look good they'll survive but People forget that, you know, fishes pee and, you know, they, a lot. They eat, the more you feed, the more water changes you need. So, if you look at my fish, they're overweight. Especially that guy, I mean, he's about, he or she's about to burst. I mean, they're all overfed. 
I should stop feeding them, but I can't seem to stop because this guy is on the thin side only because I just got him. And then my archer isn't eating. He's only eating or looking for live crickets. So I want to set him a separate tank today. You, you know, you think you these guys are so fat that they stop eating, but they don't. They just constantly eat. Yeah, keep that in mind. The more you feed, the more um, water changes you'll need. Even though your water is crystal clear or looks good, you know, you just got to remember, you know, you don't want to live in a place where you're going to the bathroom and not flushing the toilet. Just imagine that. <laughs> silly but that's the way I explain to people